incredible discovery, an image snapped by European Space Agency. This is on uh, Express UK by Sebastian Ketley. 14,000 asteroids surrounding Earth. The European Space Agency, Gaia satellite, uncovered three new asteroids in all this mess, 14,000. Three new ones, so it's an incredible achievement to chart, of course, 14,000 space rocks barreling towards Earth. We know that uh, this past week, various agencies had a seminar, a drill, having to do with an asteroid strike. It was NASA, ESA, FEMA, and uh, various other space agencies conducting a simulation of an asteroid strike, but unfortunately, the percentage they were given to work with on this tabletop drill was only a 1% potential of it striking Earth, 1%. So I'm sure they all had a successful completion of it with flying colors. If I were someone trying to do something having to do with mitigating an asteroid, I would give them at least a 50% chance of it striking Earth, see what they would do with that. Now, ESA's asteroid discovery was made in December 2018, just a few months ago. It was later confirmed by astronomers in France, Haute-Provence Observatory. Based on Gaia's treasure trove of information, ESA recognized more than 14,000 asteroids orbiting the Sun. This agency charted all of these near-Earth objects, including three new observed rocks, onto a, si a single image of an inter inner solar system. And according to Gaia, it has pretty good knowledge of most of the asteroids that it has detected so far. Of course, they have not detected all of them. That's why once in a while they keep asking for volunteers of amateur astronomers to help them view images. Now, uh, and of course, there have been discoveries by these amateur astronomers, thank goodness. But every once in a while, a new asteroid will pop up, expand the agency's database for ESA we're talking about. They said this is the case for the three orbits shown in gray lines in this view. These are Gaia's first asteroid discoveries. The three new asteroids were first spotted by Gaia December 2018. They were then confirmed by follow-up observations from the Haute-Provence Observatory in France which enables scientists to determine their orbits. And they said comparing this information to existing observations indicating the objects had not been detected earlier. So they, these were new objects. A majority of asteroids in ESA's picture are called main belt asteroids. They zip around the space between Mars and Jupiter. And these asteroids are marked on ESA's chart in bright red and orange colors. And then further towards the burning heart of the solar system are the yellow orbits, which represent so-called the near-Earth asteroids, or the ENAs. So the uh, brighter the color gets, the closer they are to Earth, as we can see. Near-Earth asteroids are all asteroids orbiting the Sun, from a distance of 1.3 astronomical units, or 120.8 million miles. One astronomical unit is the distance between Earth and the Sun. Now, just one AU measures 93 million miles, distance Earth to Sun, 93 million mile, miles. And ESA explained the Earth circles the Sun at a distance of one AU, so near-Earth asteroids have the potential to come into proximity with our planet. The three new asteroids just discovered are marked on the chart in gray, as we can see, and are part of the main asteroid belt. But ESA said these asteroids have a greater tilt of 15 degrees or more when compared to asteroid belt objects for some odd reason. They said the population of such high inclined asteroids is not as well studied as those with less tilted orbits. Since most surveys tend to focus on the plane where the majority of asteroids reside. So, uh, most of the surveys focus on the uh, asteroids that are in the uh, 
focal pl the the, uh, the 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 horizontal plane. But I don't understand why they don't focus on the ones that are not on that plane. So Gaia can readily observe them as it scans the entire sky from its vantage point. In this way, this satellite, the Gaia satellite, is bound to find more of these near-Earth objects in the future, and in that way, we'll have more information to study their properties, what these things are made of. Once ESA's Gaia detects a new asteroid or any asteroid hurtling through space, and its presence is confirmed, astronomers then will study the orbit to determine if it poses a threat to Earth. ESA also says this process may lead to new discoveries like the three asteroids with orbits depicted in this image, or to improvements in the determination of the orbits of known asteroids, which are sometimes very poorly known. Up to now, several tens of asteroids detected by Gaia have been observed from the ground in response to the alert system, all of them belonging to the main belt, but it is possible that also near-Earth asteroids will be spotted in the future. And let's also remember that they're only involving, they're only testing the ones that are on the horizontal plane and not the ones that are over-tilted for some odd reason, I don't know why. Um, now according to ESA, asteroid impacts are rare, they say. They're rare occurrences and the largest base rocks are mostly accounted for. Uh, it's the smaller ones that they don't see very well. Now the main challenge when facing deep state uh, space threats is from the middle size asteroids measuring from tens to hundred meters across. These are the most numerous asteroids and they're the ones which mostly fly past the Earth and any impact from one of these space rocks could cause significant damage to our planet Earth. Now, uh, as far as ESA is concerned, they say today no known object merits any worthy worry, but uh, many remain undiscovered, so we need to keep looking and searching. Let's remember what one of the uh, astronomers told us at the beginning of the week when they were beginning their uh, asteroid impact drill, that the Russian Chelyabinsk uh, meteorite that struck over Russia in Chelyabinsk was not even seen. It, they didn't know it was coming in. And uh, that caused damage to over a thousand people by glasses and everything, buildings uh, exploding, this, the, the uh, 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 sonic boom caused uh, buildings to shake and windows to blow in. And also the same day there was another ast uh, asteroid that passed over somewhere in the United States. Two of them on the same day that were not known to come in. And uh, that's what, because they were coming in from behind the sun, and they, could, they said that they could not see them when they're behind the sun because of the sunlight. Now, that's why they're asking for volunteer astronomers to help them uh, scan the images because uh, AI doesn't do a good job of it. It doesn't understand what it's looking at, whereas the human eye picks up the movement very nicely. And there have been recent discoveries by these amateur astronomers, thank goodness, of incoming asteroids. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help 
the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.